Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. We have some news that is out as of right now for the 250 million download uh, campaign. So we have the countdown, seven days to go until the 250 million download starts, which is actually awesome because that means it's going to be starting on a, a Friday night for me. So I'll probably end up going to bed and just waiting till the morning and I'll probably maybe I'll do a live stream if we get all our tickets on that day. But that is awesome. I love it. I freaking love it. So uh, yeah, that's going to be starting. Um, the official date may, may have been confirmed again. Uh, so th that is just like my assumption at seven days it's going to happen. At least as you see over here in like the Reddit post, by the way, shout out to the Reddit. Um, this is just speculation that it's going to start in seven days. But I'm, I'm assuming it's, it's probably going to start in seven days. It's going to be about the time that the World Tournament ends. It's going to be uh, at the end of the login bonus, uh, so I'm pretty sure that's when we should be getting our tickets. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I really hope so. I really want some Duke Koras and another Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and uh, Intelligence Gogeta, obviously, and Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Those are the ones that I really, really want. Um, outside of that, I mean, I'm cool with almost anything else except for like Broly and Super Saiyan 4 Goku just because I have those guys like 100% already. But uh, outside of that, then pretty much anything else is, is fair game. Just core, because I need that damn Super Battle Road for physical, because I can't beat it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Uh, seven days. Now, we see over here, global maintenance announced for tonight, guys. So, if you guys are going to be playing... Um, it, well, actually, not tonight. I'm sorry. Tomorrow night. Uh, that's going to be probably in prep for the World Tournament. So, keep that in mind. So, uh, 822, it's 821 today. So, you have, yeah, Wednesday night into Thursday is when the, world, the maintenance is going to go into effect. They might also be doing some server load balancing there because we typically have a whole influx of uh, people uh, trying to get into the game all at once. They have done a really good job by like splitting up uh, by geographical location who can access the game during major events and stuff like that. If you notice, the game will go in maintenance mode for half the people. The other half the people can access it and then they swap it around so that way everyone can go in and do their summons and whatnot. So uh, be prepared for that. That should be coming along with this. Uh, but that's awesome. Uh, let's see over here. Global with a friend summon it does have the SR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. I will be doing a live stream. I might start live streaming that, like, as soon as this video starts rendering, just because I want to, like, you know, I want to get my summons in on this. I want to get it done. Uh, it's 10.30 in the morning. I've been working on my schedule to get up early as well, so that way I'm up earlier in the day so I can go out and do stuff. But, yeah, the LRs are Great Saiyan Man, definitely awesome. And they, from what I experienced with the LR Androids, and, uh, yeah, actually the LR Androids, the pull rates were a lot higher. Um in the beginning so that, that's just what I'm, I'm thinking about i think that the pull rates are going for these guys are going to be a lot higher now and in the future uh they're going to drop i don't know but that's what i'm assuming but they are available right now i did log into the game i did see them so i will definitely be doing a live stream so i can get them up to super attack 20 with all four dupes unlocked i don't think i have all the medals for them but um if i don't then I, obviously i'm gonna get up two of them to super attack 10 and wait to be able to doken them so that way i can get all four dupes unlocked and whatnot um, questionnaire for JP Dokkan. If you go over to the Twitter, you can check it out. Uh, that's this over here. You see over here, he gives you a link, and it pretty much just asks you a question what you want. Uh, they're doing like a fan feedback type thing. Uh, with translation over here, thank you. Shout out to Koresh um, from the Reddit. Question one, please give us your thoughts about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Please vote by checking the option below. Uh, I have a lot of characters, and it's hard to perform searches, which is definitely... Um, I don't think that's true specifically uh, for with a new... With, with the ability to search by category and attribute type. I think that's really good, and that's fine. I don't think that's a big deal. There are a lot of events, and I have a hard time deciding which one I should play. Um, I guess that's something I kind of want myself to be able to use multiple stamina like multiple uh stamina for one event it's so like if an event costs 10 stamina and you have 100 stamina you can choose to run it up to 10 times in one go that would make grinding a lot easier i'm, I'm putting that there um there's a lot of missions and i'm not sure which ones i should complete first and then four other it gives you a freebie so you can put whatever you want in there so you click on that link it will take you here um i have the, the, the translation on here i think you need to submit it in japanese uh, I'm not sure, but I did check out on the Reddit. Someone asked, because I saw a lot of people talking about the uh, remove the holographic background, and I don't think that's a big deal myself, but some people are, and Goresh had translated that for us. So you can, if you want the holographic background removed, go ahead, copy and paste uh, this right here, and um, go ahead and put it. I'm going to probably put it into the Reddit to ask how I can get what I want done. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll go ahead and see that. We'll see what happens from there. Uh, Super Attack quotes are coming for the global. Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. Um, it's SR is, I'm Great Saiyan Man 1 and I am 2. Uh, his SSR or their SSR is, the Great Saiyan Man will, will never sur uh, surrender to evil. T-U-R, as long as Great Saiyan Man lives, there will be no evil. Uh, their LR features, I guess this is the catastrophic evilness, will never be forgiven. And their mega catastrophic is, as long as there is evil in this world, the fury of justice will burn bright. 
that's awesome and then you have a whole bunch of other stuff over here uh i'm not gonna go over all of them because i want the video to be a little bit shorter <laughs> um in terms of the events let's see 250 million downloads uh yeah actually you know, I'll, I'll talk about that there is some information about um how we, ha we have a vote going on right now on the global side kind of want to talk about that too if you looked in the news you can go over here and tap on this link i went out to dbz.space and i just brought it up on my browser because it made it a lot easier so if you're watching this out of computer just go over to dbz.space look for the dokun festival feature characters voting campaign and all you got to do is copy and paste this link and we'll bring you here it's pretty much asking you who do you want to vote for, for to be the next dokun festival well, not the next an upcoming dokun fest exclusive now don't get your hopes up for this i don't think this is going to be anytime soon just because they're gonna have to design the cars and do all this stuff i mean look how long it took lr vegeto blue to come around you know what i'm saying like so uh but this is gonna go in and vote uh looks like r results are gonna be announced on september 3rd so you have some time yes yeah, like uh, 10 15 days before they're announced who knows maybe or no uh yeah it's about what, two weeks so 13 yeah it's about 13 days before it's announced but I, I don't think it's gonna be right away but who knows it could be right away the choices are hit khalifla or kale now it's, it's really up to you uh now hit uh it's cool I think most people are going to vote for it. They're kind of tailoring it towards it, especially with the new agility hit that's going to be coming out. That's that looks like it's only on global. Um, it, I can see hit become getting a Doken exclusive character over anyone else just because they're trying to amp it towards him. Um, the only other one I could see is Khalifa. I don't think Kel's going to get it. I really think it's going to be between these two. It's because everyone loves Khalifa, especially the younger generation. They're, they're like infatuated with her. Female Super Saiyan. Can't blame him. Uh, but hit is such a badass. So it's like. One of the situations are between the two of them. Uh, Khalifa has a decent leader ability for her her agility version, so she's pretty good and she um, she dodges very well. Uh, I feel like they gave her the best mechanics that she can have for who she is as a character, but I don't know if she's gonna like. What are they gonna actually do with her? See a hit? I could see them doing something really cool, the Doken Fest exclusive. Like they can make like a special like transformation type thing with this time skip, like uh, after like four turns or something like that, or five turns. He has the ability to, a chance to use his time skip and where um, his attacks will do like, will be a guaranteed hit or something like that because he, his time skip activates, you know, something, something crazy like that. Uh, I think that that would be really awesome, but honestly, it's going to be between these two. I don't know who I'm going to vote for yet. Um, it's definitely between Khalifa and Hit. I'm probably going to go Hit myself just because we do have a really good Khalifa card and a free to play Khalifa card. Uh, the intelligence hit is the only really good one. I will probably be doing a comparison video between the agility one and the intelligence one, uh, just so we can talk about it. But I still think the intelligence one is a little bit better. Uh, but I'll have to double check, and we'll do it when we do that video. Um, outside of that, with the extreme Z battles now on for the family command, I'm gonna be make that part of my live stream. So I will do that entire thing, so we can get all of my guys up to uh, level 140. So I'll be doing that with all of you. I'm probably gonna be doing that tonight. If not tonight, definitely tomorrow, because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, which is gonna be garbage. So stay tuned for that. Um, the Family Kamehameha Summon is here. Now, I don't think you should waste your stones on this, especially with all the Doku Fest exclusives that are coming up. But you have these three characters that are available, so you can go ahead and do that. You also have a whole bunch of other characters that are available. Um, these looks like all the SRs, but I'm, you get a guaranteed one of these banner units for doing the summon. Now, if you don't have any of them, maybe do one summon. Um, hopefully, you guys get the Gohan. I still think the Gohan's the best unit in here, just because there's so many goddamn Super Saiyan Gokus. Um, even the, just a strength Super Saiyan Goku, there's other Super Saiyan Gokus. Uh, when he, even when he gets his Extreme Z Awakening, you probably could still run another Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, there's also just better cards for strength. There's so many cards for super strength. Um, but yeah, that's about it for these guys. Thank God that's, that's finally here. Um, in terms of all the events, this is, has been announced for the actual login, the actual campaign. Purunga missions are going to start tonight, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be awesome. Family Kamehameha Summon is here. Um, we already talked about the Extremes of the Awakening. We talked about the Great Saiyan Man. The Hero Extermination Plan, Evil Power Strike Back, is available. Uh, I forgot exactly who needs those medals. I think it's the Great Saiyan Man. I think that's what those the medals that are required. You need all of them for that uh, from this event. To get them Doken Awakened. Well, again, I'll talk about that. I'm going to do a full review of the card and how to get them from zero all the way well, from SR to LR. Fierce Battle for Planet Namics available. Wrath of the Dragons available. Defeat the Super Saiyan. The, uh, this is the Broly, the Family Kamehameha stuff. That's available. 22nd World Tournament with the TN is finally here. So that's going to be awesome. The new LR. I'm going to go ham now because now I have a reason to because I need those local tournament rewards. Uh, that's going to be starting uh, on 823 Thursday night. So I'm, I'm like I said, I'm going ham for that. Doken events open every day, so every single Doken event is available, and rank quest quadrupled, so now you can boost your rank if you want to. I didn't take advantage of that during the third uh, anniversary, 
so I may do that now just because um, I kind of, you know, I want to rank up a little bit more. I want to have over 200 stamina. And I'm pretty much done with all the other events. I think the only things I'm going to have to do is the Extreme Z Awakening, the Summoning over here, and the Grind for the Hero Extermination Plan for the Great Saiyaman. Uh, outside of that, I'm pretty sure everything else is done. So I don't really have a big grind to do. So I'm just going to be using my stamina up to level up. Um, but yeah, guys. I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all the stuff I want to cover. I will be dropping an LR from SR to LR video for the Great Saiyan. I'm probably going to do that later on tonight as well. Uh, obviously, tomorrow is going to be the weekly grind. And stay tuned. Either tonight or tomorrow, I will be doing a live stream. So if you guys are interested in that, just make sure to you know keep your notifications and check in. Uh, I'd probably be doing around 6, 7 o'clock at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So uh, just, just stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.